In stark contrast to watching hyenas on the streets of Harar, I'm now in the stunning clifftop location of Deborah Labanos. Vultures are just beginning to cruise up and down the valley here, and below me in caves sleep Galada baboons, and now the sun's risen, they'll start to emerge to begin to forage in the scrub behind me. Galada baboons are endemic to Ethiopia, and they're the only primates whose primary food source is grass. They live in groups of up to 60 animals and sleep in caves overnight as a way of avoiding predators. Each morning they sit out to soak up the sun as it can get really cold here in Ethiopia. These Galada baboons spend all day on the cliff tops here grazing in the scrub and then as the sun sets they kind of move down and sleep in the caves below. But the terrain is incredibly difficult for me to move around on and to photograph in because the scrub's quite high. But there is rare moments like this when you can get them out in the open. I photographed monkeys in the jungles of South America where the problems I faced there a lack of light and annoying leaves, but the challenges there are nothing compared to photographing these guys. The scrub is so thick, which makes it really hard to get close to them. Either there is a bush in front of them, or I risk falling off the edge of the cliff whilst trying to take a picture. And although I really like them, they're not really an animal I'm willing to risk my life for. As with all primates, they are highly social. When they aren't grazing, a lot of their time is spent grooming one another. And judging by the amount of grass seeds I've got stuck in my skin, these galadas must have an absolute nightmare. Each group has a dominant male in it. The males are absolutely stunning and are certainly my main focus whilst photographing them. They use their faces to communicate loads, be it eyebrow raises, lip curls and yawns, which offers opportunities for some really stunning shots. The sun's getting up, so there's a lot of thermals going on now. So we've got eagles, vultures and kites working their way back and forth along this cliff line. There's actually an Egyptian vulture perched about 100 metres or so behind me. But for me, the real stars of the show are the bearded vulture. They've got this stunning orange breast, the red eye ring, the distinctive diamond shaped tail and of course the beard that gives them their name coming over their beak. Now you shouldn't really have favourites and I've got to say Seeing all the different animals I get to see, it is quite hard. But undoubtedly, the bearded vulture has got to be my favourite bird. I've been working on a project with them for over a year now in Europe, but to sit here on this cliff and have numerous individuals cruising overhead and below me is pretty insane. I came to Ethiopia to track down Haraz hyenas, but I couldn't resist squeezing in a few days up here in Debre Labanos. It's amazing to think that this is only two hours north of Addis Ababa. It's probably one of the most astonishing landscapes I've ever had the privilege of being in. And the supporting cast of wildlife hasn't been half bad either. 